Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 64 of chapter 5. Determine the components of reaction at the fixed support A. The 400, 500 and 600 forces are parallel to the X, Y, Z axis respectively. So the problem is telling me the type of support. It's saying that it's a fixed support. But you should be able to look at the problem and identify that. At A, the rod is threaded to the base and also the base is bolted to the ground so we cannot have any motion in x y or z axis that means that we have three reaction forces so we have reaction forces in x ax we have reaction in y and also reaction in z direction also the rod cannot rotate about any of the axis so i have three reaction moments as well i have reaction moment i'm gonna call it m um, mz mx and my so i have six unknowns ax ay and az are my fourth unknowns and mx my and mz are my moment unknowns but in the three rigid body equilibrium problems i can write uh, six equation three fourth equation and three moment equation so summation of forces in x equals 0, I have ax plus I have a 400, which is in the opposite direction of x. So negative 400 equals 0. I know the value of ax would be 400 Newton. Summation of forces in y equals 0, ay plus 500, that's positive y equal 0 therefore ay would be negative 500 net summation of forces in z equal 0 i have az negative 600 therefore az would be 600 net so i found three of my unknowns the three forces to find a moment, I need to write my moment equation. I have the choice of 3D moment formulation, R cross F, or simply use the scalar formulation. In the scalar formulation, summation of moment about point A in X equals zero. I have R Y F Z minus R Z F Y. Plus, I have the moment mx equals 0. fz here is negative 600. And ry is 1 minus rz is 1.25. fy is 500. Plus mx equals 0. So I can find mx to be 1225 newton meter so that's the scalar formulation if you don't remember the signs you could just simply write ry cross fz plus rz cross fy and if you write it in a cross format then this cross product will take care of the sign if we have k and j and then you could write it in the sign uh, will appear over there when you are cross producting k component with j component so i can do the same thing for y as well that would be negative rx fz plus rz fx plus ma y equal zero rx here i have negative rx would be negative point 75 force fz is negative 600 again plus for rz 0.75 negative 400 plus may or my let me be consistent and call it uh, my equal zero therefore my is 750 newton meter 
in summation of moment about v then i have mav or mv plus f y r x minus f x r y but these two are zero for these two forces in f in f y and uh, f x therefore my moment as v is zero let's call it m v and m y so these formulation are simply expansion of the cross product so if you have i, j, k, r, x, r, y, r, z, and f, x, f, y, and f, z, if I write the i component, I remove the first column, the first row, so that's simply r, y, f, z, minus r, z, f, y, and that's what I've written here, r, y, f, z, minus r, z, Fy. So we write it in a scalar formulation. But if you're more comfortable with cross product, you can. Also, you should be able to look at the problem and use the right hand rule to identify the value and the direction of the moment. This 600 Newton, because it's parallel to z axis, is not going to create a moment about z, but it's going to create a moment about y, because you have a distance from y, and also about x, because you have a distance. Uh, two x-axis. Let's say if we, we want to evaluate it based on the x-axis, if you have your four fingers in the direction of load, then your uh, thumb would indicate the direction of, if we have the direction around x-axis, your thumb would be in the negative x-axis. So that means that this force is creating a moment about x x axis in the negative direction. You have to use your right hand rule. Six hundred multiplied by one. The moment r. We have the moment about x axis, and the sign would be negative. Or we could use vector formulation or a scalar formulation. But we found our six unknowns: the three forces and the three moments.